Hello, today is the second day of Eid. Yeah, I'm going to make my hair today and we are going to cook um chicken sauce and turmeric rice and give it out to people. That's the good thing I'm going to do. I will make my hair, maybe possibly do my hair now. And I got an order, I'm going to go and shop for it. So that's everything. Come along and see what we're going to do today. Yay! I also marinated chicken. Let me show you that. Yeah, that's everything. I'll chop the vegetables now and the peppers and everything and cook the rice also. So I hope you enjoy watching. So I, so I started out by marinating the chicken, I added some pounded seasonings, some spices, my homemade spices, that's that I added in, then I also added some ginger powder to it, some salt, and a little bit of water so that it can marinate faster, then I mix everything together. Then I cover the pot and allow it to marinate for almost one hour. Then I later boil it. Because the pot was too hot and the fire was too hot, so I put it down. I opened the pot, then I put it back on the fire. I added some turmeric powder. That's that. Added turmeric powder, then I add in my rice. I add in some spices as you can see I added some spices also then I add in the rice I added everything inside After adding everything, then I stir everything together. I add in more spices because the one I added earlier was not enough. Then I add in more. I cover the pot and allow it to. I allow the rice to so allow the rice to cook. After some time, the meat has been cooked, and I started frying it already. That's that. Then I show you my tiger knot. That's my tiger knot. We also add in some dates the bottom of the pot and some coconut as you can see some rice some dates is a plain raw rice that we added in some dates some coconut and the tiger knot we blend everything together and you strain it with a clean cloth or you can strain it with a muslin cloth or a strainer that is smooth that's the she has been strained it then i moved to blending my pepper mix that's bell peppers and scotch bonnet I, I after blending it i added to the oil this is the oil that i finished preparing the meat and i add in the pepper mix inside i stir everything add in more water that i rinse the cup i will stir everything then i will later add in my tomato paste does that I added two sachets of tomato paste after adding it I set everything together then I'll cover it and allow it to for it to cook together I will add in my seasonings, my pounded seasonings, the chicken seasonings. I add in my spices, my homemade spices. That's that.
I know I did not add tomatoes, but the sauce was a little bit sour because I think it's because of the tomato paste. So I add in my baking powder to remove the sour taste of it. As you can see, it's foaming. That is the process of it. removing the my, uh, the sour taste. Then I diluted my rice flour with water. I made this rice flour myself. So I diluted it with water, I mix everything, then I add it to the sauce. As you can see the thickness of the sauce. So I'm going to add my chopped green beans and some carrots that I cut earlier. I did not show you how I do that. Sorry, my bad. I'll mix everything in. Add in my chopped onions. That's that, I added it in. Then I will mix everything, allow it to steam for three to four minutes, and that's that. That's the sauce is done. I stir everything and allow it to steam for at least four to three to four minutes. See how gorgeous the sauce is and healthy. Yeah, so healthy. I love healthy food because I don't want to add more weight that I have. So yeah. I add in some pounded, um, as you can see, I added in some pounded garlic and cover the pot again to continue steaming. Then I move to washing the dishes. <laughs> That's me doing that. After I'm done cleaning the dishes and washing the sink, when i already off the fire i went back to check on my sauce see the meat that i fried when i'm we're going to give to my neighbors we only have two neighbors so and i'm done with cooking i'm currently done with cooking and everything now i'm going to make my hair i'm also going to deliver some good to someone yeah i'm going to make my hair I'm, like i finished cooking and everything so yeah, I went to make my hair. I'm making bouncing, twisting. She made bouncing. What is the perfect English to say this? She's making the hair into bouncing, twisting, and that's just me editing my video. And the person that was filming me is my sister. She's halfway done doing it. I don't know why I love this hairstyle because it makes my hair grow a lot more. I don't know what's up with it and i leave my hair for about one month without disturbing it yes i wash it but i don't do anything to it and this one is a little bit smaller so i'm going to leave it for about two months don't judge me i don't like making my hair that's that period and i'm done she's done with it and then we went to the market nearby to buy some cake stuff that's my sister some stuff that we're going to make a birthday cake the next day for we went back home no one was around so we on the generator because there was no light and that's that let me just say it's 8 30 now we're back from the market and from the place we make our hair but now i'm going to eat food because i'm so hungry oh my god let me show you what i'm going to eat then i ate my dinner the time that i make it i did not eat it is now that I'm eating around 10 30. So, yeah, I'm going to eat that and upload my video. And I started cream some butter and sugar for the birthday cake. Mm -hmm.